Hello, Martina here from Small Business Bliss. In this quick little video, I'm going to show you around the new Twitter design that was just recently launched. Now, this is the home page in the new design, and you'll notice that while you've got a lot of the same things, um, things have shifted a little bit. So now the focus with all the details and the information is to the left. Now the biggest change on the home page is in the main navigation tab, you no longer have a lot of the same things that you used to with the new design. They've been tucked away into different areas. So let's have a look um, at where these new things are. So for example, at mentions, lists, searches, etc. We'll get into that. So in order to view your profile now, that is also not in the main navigation you've got the option right here underneath your Twitter name. It's a little bit hard to see, small writing. It says view my profile. You can also access it here from the right, this little head icon. And there you've got the ability to go right into your profile. So let's take a look at the new layout. Now, looking a little bit more closely, once you get used to the visual change, um, the information there really is the same that you would have gotten before in your profile. Now, one of the biggest differences is this idea here of lists. Now, in the old design, you used to be able to see how many times you were listed. You actually saw that right from your profile. It was included with tweets and following, etc. So now, your lists are here in your profile page, but as you can see, there isn't a number attached to them anymore. You can see the ones that you're subscribed to, as well as the ones that you are a member of, but you will no longer see a number of how many times you're listed. So this is something that we might see change as the Twitter team sort of puts the finishing touches on their new design. Now let's take a look at app mentions because that's probably the most important function within Twitter and it is now underneath this at connect here you can see at the top. So pretty, pretty intuitive the at sign for the at mentions. So here you can have a look at your interactions um, as well as specifically your mentions. Now it used to be who to follow at the top of the old design is now this discover area and here you'll get a little bit more information than you used to. You've of course got the who to follow suggestions and there's also some stories, um, activities as well as the categories. And this brings you into the Twitter search area. So you can either do it from here, we're in Discover, Browse Categories, or you can also search just right up here from the top and you can search whatever you want. Let's say Small Business. Hit Enter. Now the search results that come up, um, it will come up first with the tweets that mention what you were looking for, but if you're looking for a specific user, perhaps a company or a person, you just have to click over here to People on the left hand side. Search results are also going to bring up for you images and video as well. So it is a cleaner interface that is easier to click around once you get used to where everything is. Now the last thing to quickly note that has moved is the direct messages. Now that's been tucked away again into this head icon and then here you can find your direct messages and it'll pop up here in a window. So I think they've probably given that less importance just because people don't really pay so much attention to direct messages given all of the sort of automated welcome messages that tend to come through there. Um, and finally, the last thing to touch on really quickly, this little feather here is where you can compose a new tweet. So that pretty much covers it, the new Twitter design. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not even use Twitter? Um, would love to hear about it in the comments. Have a great day.